So John, people have been talking about uh, gradual improvements in this team, but looking for a big turning point. Could this be it? Well, hopefully, uh, hopefully yes. We've, we have played some very good cricket over the last 12 months, but it's a matter of, of uh, becoming consistent and being able to produce that sort of cricket when we need it. Chris was talking about getting everything coming together at the right time, and that seemed to happen in this test. Well, in this test it did, yes. And, and there have been times throughout the last 12 months where we've done some very good things and then all of a sudden lost it for one, maybe two sessions, or in one day cricket lost it for, for a spill of five overs, and that's cost us the, the match. One of the, one of the big differences of noticeable yesterday was at last that middle order, low middle order with Brendan Nash and, and Dennis Ramden holding things together at a tricky time. How crucial was that overall? Well, I think it was very, very important. Um, you know, we, we knew the wicket wasn't going to be easy to bat on uh, today and tomorrow, so we wanted a lead. And at that point, as you mentioned, it was a, it was a tricky time. And you've got to hand it to both Nashi and, uh, and Dinesh. They played that partnership very well. Dinesh played some lovely shots. Yeah. He was positive. He said, well, if the ball's there in my, my zone, I'm going to, going to attack it. And that's a good way to bat. Presumably, this is exactly why you brought Brendan Nash into the team, though, to give that, that steal or that position in the batting lineup. Mm -hmm. Well, we, we had a problem because Dwayne Bravo uh, was injured and had an ankle operation, and we do need someone within the, within the middle order, apart from Shiv, that can hold things together. He's a, he's a good, sensible cricketer, Nash. He, mm -hmm. he knows, knows the game, he reads it pretty well, he knows what's required, and... and um, goes out and does it. So far he's done very well. And talking of breakthroughs, I mean this, this did feel like the, the test match where Suleiman Ben really Im imposed himself on test cricket. Oh, I, th I think he bowled superbly in this game. Yeah. We've always thought that a guy of his height and control should be a handful for a lot of sides. Now, so far in his test career he's bowled on a couple of very flat wickets. This one gave him a little bit of help. And we're, we're well, that's what we wanted to see all along with his career. We wanted to see him on a wicket that would actually give him a bit of help and see how he'd go. And he handled it beautifully. He bowled very well. Has he become a little bit more of a, a confident lad? He seems to have come out of his shell a little bit. Is he, is he enjoying his cricket more or more comfortable with things? Well, I think obviously the more he plays at this level, the more comfortable he's going to become. It's, uh, he's learned over the last... Uh, last few test matches that he's played, that this isn't an easy game. It's not a 2020, and he's, he's, a, he's a very good 2020 bowler, but in that, you know, he can bowl four overs and get off, and that's, that's the end of it for him. In test cricket, it's a long, hard grind at times. And, um, and I think in this game, this is the first time he's really, really been able to handle the fact that, hey, I'm gonna be on for a long time, I've gotta bowl well, they're depending on me. And it would be impossible to talk about this game without mentioning Jerome Taylor's bowling today. I mean, that was that must be up there amongst the best you've seen in bowl. Well, Jerome often bowls spells that, that you think, my goodness, what a great spell. But today, yeah, he, he just put it exactly where he, he wanted to put it. He um, supplied a little bit of variation that he wanted. And also, great Yorker to bowl, bowl Kevin Peterson. And that, that, yeah. that's a, a, a critical wicket. So his performance today, you've got to look back and say uh, Chris and Sars centuries were terrific innings. You've got to say Ben in both innings bowled extremely well. Nash and Ramden provided um, that steal in the middle. Um, the, the bowling support all around was, was, I think, pretty good this time. We've got a few things right. There's still, still some areas to work on. Mm. Um, and our fielding... Overall, it was not too bad, too bad, but, um, you know, things to work on. Yeah, okay.